Did you know the White House usually does not weigh in on local crimes, but the alleged rape, sodomy, and sexual assault of a Maryland high school teenager in the high school's boys' bathroom, allegedly at the hands of two classmates, is making national headlines. One of the suspects confirmed to be an illegal immigrant. Here is presidential press secretary Sean Spicer. Part of the reason that the president has made illegal immigration and crackdown such a big deal is because of tragedies like this. Because of the tragedy that this young girl dealt with, had to, had inflicted upon her, whatever the word is. But th this is this is why he's passionate about this. Because people are victims of these crimes in terms of them. They're victims of the economic pieces. If there's a national security impact, but immigration pays its toll on our people. And Doug McCoy has been reporting on this disturbing case. He is at the Rockville High School now in Maryland. So, Doug, uh, tell us about the meeting last night that was held at the school. Well, the, the Montgomery County School System, Eric, which is fiercely protective of its reputation, did not invite the media to last night's meeting. We were told that that was because the auditorium only seats 700 people, and with a student body of 1,400, there simply wouldn't be room. But a local Fox reporter who went into the meeting last night with her cell phone camera did shoot some video of it, uh, and there's indications that there were empty uh, seats there. The meeting, we're told, was not terribly confrontational, and many parents expressing the same kind of concerns that we heard from protesters who were gathering right where we are right now last night as the meeting was ongoing. But I know that if this country enforced the laws that are already on the books, those two young men would not have been here, and this rape, this horrendous, horrendous rape, would not have occurred. I'm really outraged by the situation in Montgomery County. I'm a lifelong resident. They're just, come on, come in. You're 20 years old, come on in. Go to high school with a 14 year old. In an earlier press conference late yesterday afternoon before last night's meeting, the school superintendent, Jack Smith, told reporters that these two suspects were never in the same classroom or cl same class space as the alleged victim. And as to why the 18-year-old was designated as a freshman, he said there was no educational track record of this person, that he had just recently come to the United States. There were no credits to his uh, 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 reputation at all, so they had nothing. Uh, to base that on, and as is standard procedure in the Montgomery County school system, they designated all such students, and there are many, many of them, as freshmen. Hmm. Eric? Uh, meanwhile, Montgomery County, uh, it says it's not a sanctuary jurisdiction. What's the latest on that? Well, uh, technically, it is not a uh, jurisdiction of, of that sort. The police chief, the county executive, and the county council here all say that after uh, an illegal alien has been arrested and incarcerated, they notify ICE of that status, and they turn the person after incarceration over to federal authorities. But many maintain that the county really casts a blind eye to illegal uh, uh, immigration. In a January statement after Donald Trump's inauguration, for example, the county executive and the council issued a joint statement which said, and I'm quoting, police do not enforce federal immigration law. The statement added, understanding, tolerance, and respect are hallmarks of the Montgomery County way. Social justice for all is what we strive to achieve. And in his press conference yesterday, the school superintendent also uh, said that this county is required by law and by Supreme Court precedent to accept any student who comes into this county regardless of their citizenship. Eric, back to you. We are a public school system, and we serve all of our students when they come to us. And when we look at that, it is not only the right thing to do and the good thing to do, and it benefits the students and our community and our state, it's also the law of the land. Critics maintain the problem occurs here because county officials and police do not inquire of immigration status when they make traffic stops, job applications, things of that sort. That is at the heart of the problem. Eric? Yeah, it's a vivid and very disturbing example of the controversy. Doug McCoy, thanks so much.